This cello is made of carbon fibre, instead of traditional wood. Some believe this newer carbon version has a more powerful sound than the wooden instrument. It still has that characteristic sweetness, but is considerably louder. And after all, every musician wants to be heard. The carbon cello is the masterstroke of a Boston symphony cellist who noticed waves resonate loudly against carbon fibre bolts. The top piece of the cello is cut from fabric that's woven with carbon strands. This material is stronger than steel, yet electric shears easily cut through it. Numerous top cello pieces are cut out and then set aside while work continues on another section of the instrument. Special resin is brushed onto a fiberglass mould of the cello's back, ribs and neck. The mould has been pre-waxed to keep the resin from sticking to it. The idea is to saturate this large piece of carbon fabric with resin as it's tucked into the curves of the mould. It's smoothed down to get rid of any bubbles that could affect the cello's tone. More resin is brushed onto the other side of the fabric. Any surplus is sponged away. And then, to build a laminated carbon fibre shape, more fabric and resin layers are added. The layers are covered with nylon-like material and the edges of the carbon fabric are trimmed. Next, perforated plastic is placed on the nylon and absorbent batting is piled on top of that. A vacuum pump is installed and a large plastic vacuum bag is draped over everything. Then the vacuum is activated. It sucks out the air and any excess resin the perforated plastic controls the amount and the batting absorbs it. While it's still under vacuum, the whole thing is put in an oven to bake the carbon fibre layers together. After the batting and plastic are peeled away, it comes out looking like this. The layers have fused together and the shell has a sleek look to it. The cello's top piece is laminated in a mould and baked until it's also hard. Using a bandsaw, the ragged edges are trimmed off and sanded for a smooth finish. Now the cello top piece is clamped onto a fixture that has stencils on the back. With a router, they cut out the stencil shape. The sound will eventually emanate from these F-holes. The company label is glued to the inside of the cello's back section. Then, glue is added around the top inner rim of the cello. The back is taped tightly in place while it hardens. Next, the laminated carbon fingerboard is glued to the neck of the cello. Holes are drilled into the peg box and pegs which are used to tighten the strings are inserted. Soon, this cello will be more than just the shell. Coming up, they raise the curtain on its inner workings.